Hi, welcome to Yoga Zone. I'm Beverly Murphy and this is Lisa Bennett. We're here on a spectacular beach in Jamaica. One of the most profound techniques that we learn in yoga is the ability to relax and surrender into a pose. This may seem easy, but our usual response is to struggle and this creates discomfort. When we open into a pose, this ability to surrender spreads into other parts of our life, making life a little bit more easy and peaceful. Let's begin so you can experience this for yourself. Coming into a cross-legged position like Lisa and I are in, bringing one heel in front of the groin and the other heel directly in front of that heel, just so that you feel comfortable. Take your arms out by your side, fingertips touching the floor. Feel the spine tall and lifted and the shoulders relaxed. Take a deep breath in and out. On the next inhale, gently reach the arms up into the air, palms touch. And as you exhale, like you're pressing through water, bring the arms back to the floor. And again, breathing in, keeping the face, shoulder, and neck relaxed, palms touch. And exhale, slowly release back down. Nice, on the next one, inhale, reach the arms up into the air. This time, stay here. On the exhale, take your right arm down to the floor and begin to reach through the left arm, sliding this hand out as far as you comfortably can go without doing this. So you want to keep that opposite knee pressing into the ground. Think about relaxing through your shoulders and through your neck and making this arm strong and active, not limp like that. Hold here and breathe. Don't go to the full range of the posture right away, but see if you can work with the breath so that with each exhale, you move a little bit deeper into it. Long, even inhale. Long, even exhale. Inhale, slowly come back up. Release the arm down by your side, and let's switch sides. Inhale the other arm up into the air. Relax the shoulder. Slide the hand out. Hold here and breathe. Really feel the stretch through the side of your body. Notice that you're stretching these tiny little muscles called intercostal muscles between the ribs, helping you breathe more freely. Inhale, and on the exhale, see if you can work a little bit deeper into it, lengthening the spine, keeping the shoulder relaxed. Hold here. And then breathing in, slowly come back up, and exhale, release the arm down. Let's come into a twist. Take your hands out in front of you. Keep the spine lifting tall. Inhale, reach the right arm up into the air. Shoulder relaxes down away from the ear. And then on the exhale, place the hand down on the floor behind you. Press the fingertips in, lift tall, and gently begin to spiral around, looking back over that shoulder. Try not to crank around with your shoulders and your neck, but you should feel the strength of the posture come from your torso so that you're not really using the arms, they're, they're just there to gently support you. Let's take another breath here. Long, even inhale, long, even exhale. From there, slowly come back around. Taking your hands in front of your knees, inhale, reach the other arm up into the air. Exhale, place that hand down on the mat behind you, lifting the chest tall, and then with the exhale, slowly begin to spiral around, holding here, breathing in, and breathing out. Feel the strength coming from the core of your torso, the abdominal muscles, the muscles along your spine, keeping the shoulders relaxed. If you feel challenged in this pose, see if you can stay with it. Remember not to tighten or to grip, but we're trying to open and release. Taking another long, even inhale, and as you exhale, slowly coming back around. Pulling the fleshy part of the butt back so that your sit bones are pressed into the ground. Those two bony bones that you sit on. Take your hands out in front of you. Breathing in, feel the chest lift tall. And on the exhale, slowly begin to walk the hands forward. Coming into potted palm. Try not to let the sit bones lift up, but keep them pressing back into your floor as you extend the arms and the crown of the head towards the wall in front of you. You should feel as if you're lengthening the spine, using your breath to move deeper into the posture. It's not important that you go as far as Lisa is. Maybe you're even up here, a little less flexible. That's okay. But working to lengthen the spine and feel the chest open so you're not rounding like this into it. Let's hold here for a couple breaths. Long, even inhale. 
long, even exhale. Breathing in on the next exhale, see if you can lengthen even a little bit deeper into it. This time, let the spine round, let the head draw down towards the floor. Notice how wonderful that feels. Completely releasing and letting go. From here, inhale and slowly come back up. Coming into cat pose, coming onto your hands and knees. Taking the hands directly underneath the shoulders, the knees directly underneath the hips with the toes curled into the mat. As you inhale, arch the spine, roll the shoulders back, look up. Exhale, pull the belly in, round the spine, draw the chin towards the chest. And again, breathing in, arching the spine, look up, shoulders relaxed, exhale, belly pulls in, spine rounds, chin to the chest. And again, inhale, arching, and exhale, rounding. And with this last one, inhale, arching, hold here. Squeeze the shoulder blades down, turn the sit bones up towards the ceiling, spreading them wide, feeling a stretch through the lower back. And then come back to neutral. And lower down onto your belly, coming into cobra pose. Take your hands directly underneath your shoulders like Lisa's doing. Separate the feet just a little bit and point back through your toes. As you inhale, lift the chest up. Exhale, slowly lower back down. And again, breathing in, lift back up. Squeeze the shoulder blades down towards your heels. Lift your hands up. You shouldn't go any higher than you can like this. And then exhale, lower back down. Let's come into Upward Facing Dog. Sliding your hands back to your waist. Inhale, lift the chest up off the ground. See if you can bring the hips up off the ground. Keep the knees into the floor, unless you're really open and then you'll pull your knees up off your mat. Just take one breath here. Make sure you're not sinking into your shoulders, but you're moving the shoulders down away from your ears. And then exhale, come onto your knees and sit back into child's pose. All the way back onto your heels. Extend the arms out in front of you forehead to the mat. Close your eyes, feel the body relaxing. We're releasing the spine in another direction after the back bending that we just did. Let's take long, even inhales, long, even exhales. Keep the shoulders relaxed, the jaw released. Make sure that you're not grimacing. It's difficult for many of us to relax into a pose. This may be more work than the previous posture. See if you can keep your mind focused on the sound of your breath. Feel the torso releasing any tightness or tension that it's holding. Just slowly come back up, using your abdominal muscles. And from here, we'll come into downward facing dog, taking your hands out in front of you. Hands are directly underneath the shoulders, knees are directly underneath the hips. Curling the toes into the mat, lift the hips up into the air, and come into the posture. Let's start with the knees bent, working to press the whole hand into the mat, particularly the thumb and the index finger. This is so you don't roll to the outside of the little finger side of the hand, but pressing the whole hand into the mat. From there, trying to create one straight line with the arms and the torso so that you're not rounding through the upper back like Lisa's demonstrating now. See if you can move your weight back into your heels. This will take the rounding out of the back. And think about lifting your sit bones up towards the ceiling. So you have to consciously do this, engaging muscles along your spine. If you're a little bit more open, you can begin to straighten the legs like Lisa's doing and press the heels down towards the floor. Think about stretching between the ball of your foot and the heel, as if you're trying to lengthen your foot. So down dog is an incredible posture. Not only are you strengthening the entire body, but you're also stretching it. So you get everything in one posture. Let's stay here for a couple of breaths, taking a long, even inhale, listening to the sound of the breath, beginning to quiet the mind, holding and breathing. Nice, from here, let's come into a lunge. Come down onto your knees. Slide your right foot forward up in between your hands. 
Make sure that your ankle is directly underneath your knees. If you need to lift up onto your fingertips, you can. If you're feeling strong today, you can try to straighten your back leg, lifting that knee up off the floor, or you can stay where we are. From here, take one hand up to the knee, and then the other hand up to the knee. And then when you have your balance, inhale and gently swing the arms up into the air, keeping the shoulders relaxed. Use your breath, opening and releasing into the pose. We're going to come into a twist from here, and this is a little tricky, so watch carefully. Take your left arm and reach it across your thigh. Place your hands into prayer pose in front of your heart. Stay here if you're really a beginner. If you feel a little stronger, straighten your back leg like Lisa's already doing and come into the full pose. Use this bottom elbow as a lever to open your chest up towards the wall that you're facing and then keep your shoulders relaxed. This is a little tricky with balance, so if you focus your eyes on a point in front of you, that should help. Holding here one more breath, and then with the exhale, take your hands to either side of the front foot. And we'll come into fan pose from here. Straightening your back leg, turning your toes towards the side wall, bringing the front leg parallel to your back foot. Grab onto your sit bones, and lift the sit bones up towards the ceiling. See if you can shift your weight forward towards the ball of your foot and come into a forward bend, sliding your hands down your legs and grab onto your ankles if that feels comfortable. So some of the pr same principles that we used in Down Dog apply here. The shoulders and the neck are relaxed. We're working to lengthen the spine, creating one straight line, lifting the sit bones up towards the ceiling and keeping the thighs strong feeling that front of your thigh engaged and active. Just take a couple of breaths here. Make sure that your feet are not too turned in and not too turned out, but just creating parentheses. Inhale, see if you can work a little bit deeper into it, drawing the head down towards the floor. And then slowly coming out of it, using your abdominal muscles, rolling back up. Nice. Turn the front foot forward, bring your hands onto your thighs, and step your feet together. Let's switch sides. Bring your hands down onto the mat and step back with the right foot, coming into a lunge. Make sure that that front knee is directly over the ankle. Bring your back knee down into the mat if you did so on the other side. Bring one hand up to your thigh and then the other hand up to your thigh. Squeeze the shoulder blades down. When you have your balance, inhale, reach the arms up into the air squeezing the shoulders down, holding here. Take this opposite elbow across the knee and bring the hands into prayer. Use the arm as a lever so that you can open the chest up towards the side wall. Keeping the shoulders relaxed, you can even begin to look up towards the ceiling if you feel like you have your balance. Taking a couple breaths here, trying to work deeper into it, using your breath so that you're not struggling or forcing or fighting the pose. With practice, eventually this will feel easy and you'll feel a wonderful stretch. Bring your hands back down onto the mat, slide your knees back together, and sit to the side of your heels, extending your legs out in front of you. Coming into bull seat, take your right knee facing towards me and try to bring your left knee on top. This may be difficult for you, so even if the knee is a little bit up like this, that's okay. If you have a pillow nearby, you can grab it and sit on it. It will make it a little bit easier. Try to sit equidistance from your heels and press both sit bones into the ground. Already, you might be getting an intense stretch. If you feel like you can go a little further, take your hands out in front of you. Stay high up on your fingertips, and with the exhale, slowly begin to walk the hands forward. Move slowly into this. This is a pretty intense stretch through that outer hip. This is where we want to work with the breath, trying to relax into it, instead of our usual response, which is to grimace, to pull away, and to tighten. So see if you can soften the shoulders, release the jaw, release the neck. If you can even go a little further, bring the arms all the way to the floor and begin to round forward. Probably most of us will not go that far. Stay where you can, working with the breath. Breathing in, slowly come back up. 
Pretty intense, huh? <laughs> Let's switch sides. Bringing the other knee on top. Sitting between your heels. Press both sit bones into the ground. Remember to move into this slowly. Take your hands out in front of you. Breathing in on the exhale, slowly begin to extend forward. Only coming to a point that's comfortable for you. Taking a long, even inhale and a long, even exhale. Close your eyes if it helps. See if you can listen to the sound of your breath. Think about relaxing and releasing every muscle in the body. Just slowly come back out of full seat. Come into a cross-legged position. Let's come into sitting angular, extending the legs wide, pulling the fleshy part of your butt back so your sit bones are pressed into the ground. Already you'll begin to feel a lengthening through the hamstring when you do this. Pull the toes back towards you so your second toe is in line with your knee, in line with your hip. Starting with the hands behind you like Lisa's doing and lift the chest tall. Flex your thigh, contracting the front of your leg and feel that wonderful opening at the back of your leg. For many of us, this may be enough and you won't want to go further. But if you want to feel a deeper stretch, take your hands out in front of you. And moving with the breath as you inhale, lift the spine tall. As you exhale, walk your hands forward just a little bit like Lisa's doing. Going into this slowly so that you don't come into the full range of the posture immediately, but you're moving gradually, listening to your body, moving with the sound of your breath. Keep pressing the sit bones down, making sure that your legs don't roll in or roll out, but the toe and the knees stay pointed up towards the ceiling. Close your eyes if it feels comfortable. Let the head and shoulders round, and just take a couple of breaths here. See if you can practice working with your breath and trying to release into the pose. Oftentimes our initial response is to grip and to tighten. But it's a little bit like jumping into a cold pool. As you move deeper into it, breathing, it actually begins to feel a little bit better. That doesn't mean push yourself, but just coming to your edge. Stay here, working with the breath, relaxing into it, keeping your mind focused on what you're doing. Inhale, slowly come back up. Draw the legs together, and let's slowly lower back down onto the floor, coming into Shavasana using your abdominal muscles as you lower down. Stretch the legs out in front of you. Let yourself release through the hips so your toes are turning to the side walls and reach the arms out by your side. Relax the shoulders and the neck. You can even turn the head a little bit from left to right. Holding here and breathe. See if you can keep your mind focused on the sound of your breath. Feeling the inhale, the whole body expands. Feeling the exhale, the whole body releases and sinks in towards the floor. As we develop this ability in yoga, we're able to take it out into our life, breathing freely and enjoying the peace and stillness that comes from this practice. My name is Beverly. Thanks for joining us. See you again on Yoga Zone.